Hello, crafty friends. Sparkle here for another version of this and that Tuesday. I know, it's been a while, and I have the glove on. The mysterious tortured thumb glove. We'll see how that works. So, got a couple things to share with you. One is, oh my word, I tried to do the um, origami leaf envelope fold that I saw on um, Antonio Makes did. And, um, you know, this would have to be inked and stuff. But mine is a whole different size than his. And I think it's because um, the pattern called for A4 paper, which I think is like 8 and a quarter by 11 something. And I only have, you know, regular typing paper or um, copy paper. So I guess they would be okay. Um, I, I would ink the flower and ink everything, which I have not done. Here's another piece of paper. Um, this was uh, Lily Fee the Paper Witch. And I'd have to look and see where this one was. But yeah, I would definitely um, try it again when I have a little more patience. But it's doable and I like it. But I'm usually pretty good with origami stuff. So what I wanted to do today was... Um, I know this isn't new, but it's new to me, and it's tiny, and you know I like tiny. So this was my uh, project from the other day. I took out all the embellishments just so I could show you. So these are little envelope tabs, and um, okay, um, they're the cutest little thing. You can open them up, and you can journal in here. I haven't inked these, but I would ink everything in here. So that they look um, like this. It looks better when you ink them. So you can stamp it here or you could write a note. It could be a secret message. Um, and I I glued my top down because I don't like it flopped around. But they're just uh, flip overs. And then you put them either on the side or on the top. And um, you can use these um, little paper clips. But I don't like these ones. I have some Tim Holtz ones coming because I, I think the Tim Holtz ones are just round. These get caught because they're so, um, they're just hard. They're okay on something if, if, if it's cardstock and it's, it's doable. But when you try to go through this and the layer, it's hard for me. But if you're doing a bigger envelope like this, this one's two, two inches. You can take a big, uh, you know, just a standard one inch clip, one and a quarter inch clip, and when you put this on, you could hide your clip behind your image. Part of my hands are not working so well. So it, it, would, it would work on this size envelope to have a bigger clip. So anyway, so here's some of them. Um, this is just a teeny tiny one. It's not inked again, and it's just a bird. And this, um, yeah, you could also use some of your uh, mini, not so much for this one, because this one's really tiny. Uh, this one I'll wait for a paper clip, okay? Um, they will sit there, but I'm, I'm afraid that, it, you know, when you move in your thing, it might fall out. So on these bigger ones, you can use um, clothespins. Look at this. And then that's the cutest thing. This is some um, Edith Holden scraps. But, you know, put a date in here, write something. This was one of my flower clusters. It's a good way to use up um, small embellishments. Um, I put circles behind them just to give them some reinforcement and it's nice if the back looks decent too. So these bigger ones, these are uh, two and a two and a half. These um, these would just sit up there, but I don't like them flapping around. So again, either use um, a small paper clip or a big paper clip on this one or a um, post pin or one of those little, um, you know, those little uh, bull pins bull clips the little ones so here's one again I just use some of my oh my fingers <laughs> I used some of my leftover ephemera so I had some um, 
just some pieces that I had done at another time. These are just all I have left right now in this stack. So I just um, put a ticket up there, and it's a stamped little image. And again, it can sit on the top of your page. Um, if you if you're doing like a garden or something, garden journal, you could do a theme. This one has some garden stuff on it. So let's see what else we have in here. Here's another one, and this one's on the side. And this had a, I used a bigger paper clip, so if you do that, you know, it, it's hidden. I don't like the clip showing. It shows at the back, though. Okay. But, you know, you could decorate the back more, too. I, I don't mind that. I just wanted to hide it because I don't want to see it. But here's a big wooden button. I put some um, uh, sparkle stuff. What is that called? Stickles. Stickles on it. And this is just one of my little, little clusters. But it happened to match the page. So there's that one. And this one is a cutie patootie. It's a little smaller. This one's one and a half inch. And this one um, just has a butterfly and some cheesecloth. Again, this one has lines. So it'll sit up there or you can... Um, put a clip on it. And this one was cute. This was just white. Uh, I'm not a fan of just the white, but I put pink on it. Pink ink. And I have a white a white clothespin. But here's one of my clusters, and that just happened to look nicely on there. And I just put it a, a round circle behind it. Look at that. So you know Sparkle just has to have her clusters and her little things. So, um, yeah, I have some uh, better uh, paper clips coming. I'll let you know. These were also from Amazon, but I don't like them. Like I said, I, I have trouble with them. So, okay, so let's make a few. Uh, you all know how to make these envelopes. I know you do, so. Um, just let's see. Okay, so I just took, um, what's really fun is, is if you have this kind of paper, what do you call these, like belly bands? Like this was from um, Daniela at Lily Fee the Paper Witch. With each of these clusters or um, belly bands, you can um, get two. This is one and this is the other one. However, I think it was this way. So I just cut the strip out and cut this in half. Okay. So you're going to take, um, this one is um, about four, a little over four inches. You know, I just, I just cut it in half. And it's uh, one and almost one and three quarters. So it'll be this size, which is not uh, the big one. I'm just showing you, you can make them, this one's longer in here, or you can make them shorter. Um, this, I like this size the best. So, this is uh, similar. But anyway. So, you're going to just um, cut these out. Then you're going to take it, and decide where your top is. And I, I put it towards me, and I just fold the top edges up so they touch. Okay, and they should be even, so you might have to jockey it around a little bit because you want them to be even. And I choose to glue these down. You don't have to, but Sparkle does. Uh, they just don't get caught then. So, then all you have to do is turn it around again. I fold this top down first. Some people just pull the bottom. And then you can see where you want to put your um, bottom piece. Okay? So stay about there. There you go. Then I would, um, right now, before I decorate it, I would, like I said, ink the inside too because um, if people open it to see what the secret message is, it'll be pretty. 
So yeah, that's what we do. And this is just um, copy copy style paper. It's not. Um, I wouldn't use cardstock. So check out your design paper. This is a good way to um, either use up design paper or um, like I look for these strips in my stash. Okay, so that one's done. Uh, we'll wait to decorate them till later. Um, this is a little envelope uh, that I had made for one of my um, snippets. So like that would look cute on there. Something like that. And I just keep it on the flap, you know, the, the size of the side of the flap like that. You know, I might cut this down a little bit. Or you can put it in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to leave the decorating for now. So this was the other half of that one, and I've already um, folded my tops down. Folded this down, folded this up. Now that actually um, is cute just the way it is. So, I mean, you could just put a little button here uh, and some stickles and may maybe a little tag, you know. So, let me cut these and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my um, strips cut out. And I'm literally just folding them in half. And they're four inches. And just um, cutting them in half. Tearing them in half. But if you have a theme in your journal, like these will these will work nicely in that journal I just showed you because it's the same paper. And you you don't have to use this. You can just take a, a sheet of designer paper and cut strips. About all about using what I have. Okay, so just decide if it has a pattern where you want your top to be. Put your um, points together and they're kind of addictive so you'll just um, you can do these while you're Watching your show on TV, which tonight is This Is Us for me, and the thing about Pam, I don't usually watch those shows, but my sisters got me into some of them, so... And you can make a bunch of them and then sit and decorate them at a different time. But I wanted to make some more little, those little fabric clusters, so I'll probably make it. So see, this one has a little bird on it. Cute. Yeah, some of them are intentional folds. You can... Um, just happen to fold on something cute. Some of them not so much, but really doesn't matter. So these ones are not decorated, right? So these are all going to be the same size, so maybe we'll make a different size. Let's just put our points together. Bluer points. Turn it. Bring your tip down. Make sure the sides are even. And bring the bottom up. 
Now, if you want a different look here, you could cut some of this off and make it shorter. I, I don't like the point to be Okay, so it's just a different size. I like the longer one. So let's um, let's make one of these bigger ones. Um, let's do this one or this one. This one. So I'll give you the measurements. It's um, one, two, three, four by four by two. So. Let's cut this. Um, well, I gotta cut the um, strip up because I didn't do full sheet. Okay, so I said two inches. And that will probably make two out of this. Four. Oh, sorry. And this, I, I think I told you I didn't uh, do double sided because um, I want to be able to write on the inside. Okay, so here's your um, four by two. So we'll put our points down. Okay, and then this one, we were mimicking this, um, this one here, so, I don't normally measure, so let's not. Um, this one is a little smaller. So let me check my measurements on this. One, two, three, four. Oh, this has to open. One, two, three, four. So five and a half. So does it matter? Let's just do another one that's two inches by five and a half. You'll know what size you like. I just ran to get gas and it was four dollars and thirty cents. Holy cannoli. And I went to the store, washed the sheet today, on a couple beds. So I've been a busy girl. No, this is still wrong. Where is my All right, let's see. Well, I'll get it figured out yet, my friends. Okay, so one, two, three, four, four and a half, four and a quarter, maybe four and a quarter. All right, 
now we have it. You know, I see it and then I say, well, that's the size I like, and then I can't remember how to do it. Okay, so this one's a little smaller, and this is the one we were mimicking. And perfect. Okay, so just by folding them, you'll see you'll get different sizes. So we have these two. We have this one that's three. We have this one that's four. These are all going to be the same size, so we're not going to do these. Um, I made a few last night, so let's just um, trim these. I think I was making adjustments as I went. Who knows what I was doing last night? That was like a century ago. Okay. So we have this one, we have this one, this one, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just by changing the size, you can, um, Get any size envelopes you want. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and ink these all on camera. I, th I think you know how to do that. So, there were a couple that were inked. This one's inked already. This one's inked. This one's inked. Okay, those three are inked. So we'll concentrate on them at this moment in time. And I can work on these later. So let's just get some, um, some little things out. Circles. I, I like the cardstock colored circles for some reason. All right, so now what you do is just look around your um, stash here and try to find some uh, bling that might work with what you're going to color, what your theme is. So let's... Um, We have a like a yellow, round yellow button with the sheet on there. It was the right size. That's a wooden one. Oh, here's a sunflower one. I can cut this off. Let me cut that off. I'm just using my um, jewelry snippers here. See, that might look cute on there with some stickles on it. Okay. All right. When I see an idea, I got to go with it. You know what I'm saying? But I might want to... Um, some cheesecloth or something under it. Maybe just some... Well, that looks cute. J just um, some eyelash trim. Let's put this on. Uh, you don't want them top heavy, but you do want them to um, stick and be able to open. Get a clamp. Like so. 
accidentally put it on there. I don't know if that'll work. All right, so let that dry. Let's see what we have here. We have this one that's got some blue in it. Um, this one might work. So I would put um, this this one has um, a print on the back. So I might put that up there so it would show in the back. We're going to cover the bird's head though, huh? Well, that's going to happen, my friends. Well, there. I won't show if I put it over here. So what I'm doing is just putting it off to the side. Okay. So let's um, I'm just putting some on the I just um I want it sticking up because when it's on my page I want it to be up. Okay. So you'll see the the doily and you'll see something in the back so it's not so stark. Okay. So let's um put this on. This was from the other day. I made a bunch of clusters and now I'm all out. But I didn't want to make any more until I saw what I was going to be doing with them. Which makes sense. Okay. Cute. And you can still see the bird. So. That's two. Let's see. We've got this one. And that's got some little birdies there. Plain in the back, so I know I want to put one of these on here. Let's see. Sometimes a stamp will work. There's another bird. It's not the same kind, but maybe if we put um maybe if we put some something behind there like a piece of ribbon or some copy stained dyed. Put our, oops, our little circle there. That gives it some oomph. And it's kind of, I don't know what happened to this. Total scraps. In the scrap heap today, girls. Okay, so let's put this here. Scrunch it up a little bit. And then we can maybe put him up there. Better use this. And like I said, you know, if you do a theme and you cut paper to match your, your uh, album or your journal, that would be so cool. And our little bird. I think these came from Shabby Dabby Duda, but I could be mistaken.
So we have that one, we have that one, we have that one. I thought we had another one. Well, we'll just take one from our to-do pile. And then we'll have to ink it. See how addicting these are? It's so cute. Yeah, now tomorrow's Wednesday. I gotta work. So I won't be in the studio until tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. That's always a hard day for me to <laughs> when I get home from work. Because normally I, I, I'm home 24-7 and then on Wednesdays I go to the church office. And it's the end of the quarter, so I'll be doing reports and things. So I might get a little stressed. Okay, we have our little envelope ready to go. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. So what are we going to do with this one? This one looks like it could have a little angel or something on it. It's on the back. Oh, music paper. Okay, we'll start with this. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me see if I cut this a little bit. I like it better. I actually like using the clusters because then they're already done for you. See, that would be cute if you didn't want to do that. I don't want to make an, any more fabric clusters. This is the wrong color. I'd have to make it really tiny. So, if I wanted that to show on the back, that's kind of big. Oh, there's a two-sided stamp, so that could work. That could work hanging over there. It's got some color there. I'll have to put something under it, though, so... Let me see. Oh, I'm going to miss... I'm going to miss my blue mesh. Let's scrunch that up like that. We're not going to put a circle on this one. think. No, I think she's too big. No. I should put more stuff out. We have flowers, smaller flowers in here. That can go on there. Flowers too. I think I like the, the daffodils.
just not feeling it. Let me see if I can find a smaller stamp. That's pretty. What's in here? feeling it. All right. Okay, that one might work. This is thin. Do leftovers. Where did it go? I want it off to the side. I'm going to just put this under it to reinforce it. dry for a minute. But you get the, the gist of the idea, right? So you're going to be um, layering them, letting them dry good, and then you can add them to your journals. And they will be so cute. And either hiding them with a paper clip until the small ones come. And like I said, you can hide them usually on the front, but not on the back so much. Okay. And I like that you could put them on the side too. So see, they look so cute sticking out of your books. And I'm sure you all will, oh yeah, this too, if you want, I forgot to tell you this. Say um, you didn't want to put it on your page, in your page, but you wanted to put it on your page. You could um, still leave it open and just... Um, glue it down here. You know what I'm saying? So, that's another option.
and you will have fun. You will enjoy making these. I'd love to see some of your makes if you do make them. And again, thanks for stopping by and thanks for um, hanging out with me for another version of This and That Tuesday.